Hi everyone, I'm Mike's oldest daughter, Devin. Um, thank you all for coming to my dad's celebration of life. It meant so much seeing how many people he brought together. Up until last night, I was convinced that I wasn't going to speak today, but then I decided that I should share who he was to me. When I think of my dad, I think of how hardworking he was and how he would do anything for his family. He didn't have a lazy bone in his body, and I was honestly worried about retirement for him because I'm pretty sure it would have driven him nuts. <laughs> Even though he has issues slowing down sometimes, he still knew how to have fun and showed it out on the lake wakeboarding or just relaxing on the boat. He was so caring and loving, although he showed it in a different way because he's evolving. <laughs> yeah. He was naturally good at everything he did. It was almost frustrating at points how he could pick up a sport he had never done and already be good at them. He was so trustworthy and I could always go to him for the most random things and he had an answer. I still almost automatically go to call him whenever I have a question before stopping myself. He was very particular on how things were supposed to be done, and if they weren't done right, he made sure to let you know. Although growing up, I thought he was crazy for being so particular about little things like the dishes, I now catch myself obsessing over the way certain things are done. <laughs> and when I do, I just smile to myself, because being like my father in any way is pretty amazing. Although these... Yeah. Although these past weeks have been the hardest weeks of my life, I found happiness in all the wonderful stories people have told me or posted on Facebook. I always knew how special he was as a father and how much he meant to me, but I loved hearing how he touched other people's lives. We all knew a little different side of him, my dad, and although all the stories people have written are each unique, those amazing characteristics that I think of and love shine through in them all. Thank you. Hello, um, my name is Tara Mitchell, and I'm Mike's younger sister. He has three younger sisters, as most of you know, but um, I'm the older of the three. Um, and I didn't speak at his birthday because I wasn't exactly sure what to say. And at the time, I had been reading um, an essay about um, a young neurosurgeon who was also, also diagnosed with uh, stage four lung cancer, same um, EGFR mutation. And, and I was reading his series of essays, and uh, I brought just a little piece to read out of it, because it was, it's such a difficult disease, and it's hard to know where you are, like, how did you not know, or how, how did you not know you had cancer, or how, um, all those things, and so I picked out this thing. Um, he didn't know, he was a neurosurgeon working in a hospital, diagnosed at stage four, and like, how does that happen to somebody who's in the middle of it all, um, and then, he would talk about, you know, how much time do I have? How do you figure out what does that look like and what should I do with my time? Um, and what he wrote is, um, I'm sorry. Okay. 